Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to insert values or records in a remote database, MySQL PHP MyAdmin. It's a live example on remote server. Right now, if you notice, I am on localhost, and my task is the registration form. I will design the registration form, the username, password, re-password, and email ID, and one submit button. After designing and coding part, I will upload this file on my real domain hostandservers.com. Later we will insert the values from my real domain host and servers and we will check in the database. Let's go to ASP.NET designing part. Now I am in the ASP.NET source code. And the code is, I am deleting this do class container. I'm using the bootstrap classes here and the bootstrap I have added in my master page if you don't know how to install bootstrap CSS and JS files I made I made a video on that please check on my other videos classes belongs to the bootstrap classes do class table responsive here I'm using the registration form table class I'm using the class name table condenser class and create the tr tags td which is username and another td for text box to enter username to enter username and I'm giving this id text uname copy this tr And this is a password ID is text password read password text read password This is an email and the ID is text email and, and the last one I'm adding the button control submit and button save adding class css class is equals to button success then i need a label to check the message the inserted values are sold or not build the project here build succeeded we'll check in the browser how it looks the designing part run the project And the output is the registration form, the one button control, the labels, and four text boxes. Now it's time for coding. Before writing the coding part, I would like to show you the, the table on my SQL remote database of GoDaddy. Let's log into my GoDaddy account. I just logged into my GoDaddy account in the databases. The MySQL DB is the user database I have created. Click web admin.
and now mysql db i'm expanding the database here in the registration right now in this table select start from registration is a zero rows and so there is no records in this registration table let's go to the coding part right click the mouse view code right click the mouse view code and the code behind to connect the mysql database we need to import three namespaces using system dot data using system dot configuration using mysql data dot mysql client after adding the three namespaces now we need a button click event to save the data into mysql database table so go to the design part double click the button it will generate a button click event now in the button click event the code is string main connection is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings square brackets dot connection string mysql connection my my sql connection is equals to new my sql connection which takes a parameter of main connection now my sql command my sql com is equals to new my sql command which takes a select query statement my sql com dot connection is equals to my sql connection my sql connection dot open the connection string my sql data adapter my sda is, is equals to new my sql data adapter and the code is my sql command dot parameters dot add with value which takes two parameters text uname dot text In the table I have four fields so I need four parameters and this one, and this one is the password text password dot text and this one for read password and this one for email mysql com dot execute non query now close the connection string close and the last one is a literal message dot text is equals to thanks plus text username dot text registration now in the connection strings in the web.config file copy this and paste here and mysql command insert into table registration values in mysql database the table is registration i'm expanding the table this is a username copy it 
paste your username the second one is the password password and the third one repassword copy it repassword and the last one is the email copy it. and email and the values at username at password at repassword and the last one is the email copy it. copy this and here a skill command parameters add with value add here at password at three password and at email build the solution Bill succeeded. Now it's time to upload this file on my remote server. I just opened the FileZilla FTP client to transfer local site files into remote site. Here the remote site we just connected. HTTP doc. Bootstrap tutorials. Bootstrap tutorials. This is a page. Uploaded. Refresh the folder. Now we will check this user registered.aspx page on unregistered domain. Go to the browser and I am pasting the path user registered.aspx and this is the output on the real domain on hostandservice.com. Before adding the record, we will check the table. In the registration table, we have zero rows, hence the table is empty. Our username is Sam and the password was I forgot to set the text mode password we will set the test mode password now let's go to ASP.NET again text mode is equals to password And here also text mode is password F6. Now again I have to upload this file on my remote server. Refresh. Okay. Refresh the folder on the remote site. Now we will enter the password field. Let's go to the browser again. Refreshing the page. Sam email sam at gmail.com registration submit thanks Sam for registration let's check in the database now browse here is the Sam Sam at gmail this is the first record we just entered now the second record we will enter from mobile devices. Now I just opened the mobile test.me website, Apple iPhone, enter the path, copy this path, here's the URL, go, let's see here, Jack. at gmail.com registration submit thanks Jack for registration now again we will check that Jack record is added on the registration table or not I'm browsing again here is the Jack that's it 
If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.